Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. Now, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourself being able to see past you know uh the distance of fear and uncertainty you know everybody's gonna go through what they go through but you gotta go through it to get to it so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and impact, you know, impact your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really dark times, please go ahead and share. Give me a thumbs up. Like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to Raise Your Self Awareness, High State of Consciousness, M A S M R 3D Binarial Crickets, and Drums. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, Heokas when things and people that serve this purpose space. Yeah, I mean, it can suck at times when, you know, we, we, we have things in our life or, or we have people in our life and you expect them, you, well, you, well, we put hopes and belief that they're, you know, they'll be there. But, you know, at times, like I've told y'all before, you know, sometimes we make mistakes on, you know, placing, uh, lifetime expectation on seasonal things and seasonal people you know like I always looked at my life as just like you know when I went through this spiritual awakening and finally finding out what I truly was because I you know at times you know I knew I was specially gifted my mom always used to tell me Rosalyn you got the sixth sense and all that stuff you're very special and I just thought I was just special special <laughs> you know I didn't know what was wrong with me you know and because my adopted father always used to tell me that it was a mental illness of me knowing certain things that I should not know. He doesn't speak upon stuff like that. He don't believe in the afterworld and ghosts and stuff like that. And, you know, spirits and different energy. He never did. So when I used to speak upon things like this, there's no way of me knowing. You know, there's times that I can just blurt out and say, oh, I have a grandpa, Uncle John. I mean, Grandpa John. And he was like, where do you get these things from? Why do you? And he knows that's the truth. But it was like, it would be so creepy to him because he, I'm like, I don't know. Or, you know, there'll be a time that, you know, uh, it was like a few years ago. I said, I think my mom's white. And he's like, why do you say that? I said, because I remember this fair skinned white woman with a big afro singing to me in this high pitched voice. And come to find out it was my dad. So it was just like, you know, it's like, how do you know these? Why would you remember something like that? I said, I don't know. You know, it would just be little things that I would get triggered from. And mind you, this is like my dad hasn't seen me since I was like three days old. You know, that's the last time he seen me on May 21st. Um, so it was just like, you know, all these different things that has been in my life and or, you know, being able to. You know, I used to get messages all the time when, you know, I would just smoke and get to my higher self. That was the only way I was able to accustom to get to my higher self because everything was so new to me. And then going through my spiritual awakening was already tragic enough. So even though it was like God and the spirit guides or whatever had allowed me as soon as I said that it was 420. Uh, soon as, the, you know, because they knew that was how I got through things, you know, being able to get in touch with my spirituality. I smoked and it was just like after everything was said and done all of a sudden when I was going through things and it got a little bit better because I guess it's like while that time happened they were like look this is gonna be some heavy heavy stuff for her that's gonna be a whole lot a whole lot of so we're gonna let her have this little drink every once in a while and she smoke a cigarette or two it when she gets stressed out and maybe you know a side of weed it you know face to that too but when it got to that point where things started getting better 
I was used to getting a hold of my spiritual side, getting in touch with my higher self. I could not, it was like all of a sudden I couldn't, like if I would smoke, I wouldn't be able to, you know, keep that stimulant, you know, being able to feel it. So it was just like I had to keep doing it often, more often and more often. But even those, those were the signs right there telling me you need to stop. It's, it served its purpose. You know, you're a twin flame with your father. Your, do your father doesn't do any of these things. So you can't be doing them either. So it's just like all those things, it served a purpose in my life. It helped me along the way, but I had to part with it with love. And as I told you, I was kept it real with y'all on my birthday. I went ahead and did it because it was just like dealing with my birthday and seeing it. It was like a thorn in my side because it's just like, you know, even though I got beautiful things going on for me, I never really cared for my birthday. You know, too many things, tragic things happened on my birthday. So it was like I really didn't want to celebrate it, but I did. You know, and I'm just like, you know, I'm celebrating this over and not having fun and just being able to reflect on everything that's just like, you know. So I'm going like, to I'm go ahead and have me a smoke or two and just have me a little wine. That's it, because I haven't had any since November. And after that, when I did it that day, it was like, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> you know, but the universe needed me to do that. You know, so I didn't feel bad because I did it because it was like not... Like, I was like, oh, my God, if I don't smoke this and this and this, it wasn't like I, I craved it, but it was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm trying to have me a good time. I just want to get away from everything that's serious, just live it up a little. You know, I don't really do anything that make videos, keep to myself and, you know, do what I got to do for my daughter. Other than that, I, you know, I don't do anything. So, um, you know, I went ahead and did it, but it was just like, OK, it served its purpose. But this is not something I want to go back to. You know, I can't do this. I can't function like this anymore because it was just like I felt stuck. I felt paranoid. And I'm just like, you know, what? I don't like that because it's like before it was like I was functioning and able to do that. But since I haven't done it in so long, I was like, OK, I don't feel bad because I didn't fall off the handle. I didn't feel like I fell off the wagon, you know. So it was just like this is not something I want to do back in routine again. It's just not going to work for me. It, you know. So, I mean, it's just to anybody else to each his own. I don't knock anybody who does that. You know, that's, you know, I'm not going to judge anybody for that. I say, you do what you do. You know, people used to ask me when they talked to me or like video chat. I'm like, Rosalind, would it bother you if I smoke a cigarette or anything? I'm like, no, that don't bother me. I'm good. You know, maybe when I first stopped, yeah, it would have been like, oh, don't smoke that in front of me. But now it's just like, you know, it served its purpose in my life. You know, just like there's times when, you know, I help people out and things happen the way they happen. And it's just like in the back of my mind when I meet somebody and we t we talk on that personal level. You know, I said, God, I'm, you know, I'm just hoping this works out, you know, because me and friends, we I don't keep friends too long because it's just like you're there for that moment. And next thing you know, I got somebody, you know, all these people I went out and helped. You're sitting up here praying upon every single thing I got going on. I'm trying to aim for And it's like, damn, I went all the way out to help you, to make you feel good. You know, just make you feel good about yourself. Allow, you know, helping you get towards that strength that you need to see in yourself. And this is what you were paying me with. And it's just like, I have to be able to part ways. You know, it was a hurtful feeling. And it's just like, I try not to put walls up, but it was just like, hey, you know, I'm just like, right, no new friends, no new friends, no new friends, <laughs> you know, but it's just like, dang, I, I can't get into that personal level with somebody as much because that always happens to me. You know, it's like people that I went to school with when they finally found out about me, were like, Ross, we've known you for years and you never said this. I said, that was my little dark secret I kept to myself about who I was, what I went through, because my situation was so painful very very painful who nobody wants to brag about how you know you got beat like damn near beat up like a dude just because you mocked your dad you know you emulated you mirrored him i got punished for it so nobody wants to sit up there that's you know that's not water cooler talk that i choose to want to talk about so it just had to take me to go through all this for me to be able to open up but i'm blessed that i did you know that i'm blessed that i did you have to you know when you're going through life you can't expect to have the same people in your life when you start your situation towards any of your situation. It's a blessing if you're able to have at least one or two people. You know, you might have a handful of folks 
two or three hundred folks that you so-called call friends and all of a sudden you go through the spiritual awakening you'd be lucky if you have two <clears throat> so it's just like you're going through things and everything served a purpose and there's a lot, a lot of times that we put lifetime expectation on seasonal situations so it's just like everything is a live and learn situation you know and it, it could be sad at times because of things that has happened to you along that path you know i sound blessed to be able to know people I've had in my life you know whether it was a good experience or a bad experience because I learned everything off of that you know um being able to help people along the way you know they might not have kind words to say about it after I part ways but you know hey that's all you know it spoke about my character I just really don't have anything to say like hey I was nice to you and you stabbed me in the back by you know trying to block my blessings even though I never did that to you you know so it was just like your journey is your journey, my journey is my journey. We all, you know, work and live and learn, you know, and do our things. And it's just like, I can sit back and say, you know what? I still, you know, even through all in all, I don't wish any harm on nobody. No matter how mad you made me at that split time, it's like, okay, I put my energy in it for a split second. And that helped me as well, because it taught me how to let go when I put somebody out my life, you know, let them go and just pray for them. Like I'll hope and pray that they get peace and understanding in their life because they truly need that when you, when you're trying to stop somebody else from doing their flow or you try to throw some salt in their game like that, I still pray for you. You know, I hope everything goes well with them. And it's just like those situation has taught me a lot and it has blessed me, you know, keep faith. Never feel like even though your heart is kind and other people's is not kind and reciprocated like that, still never lose, still never look at the world in a bitter way, in a bitter, you know, focus. So I try not to do that. And as well, it taught me patience. It taught me so much love because it's like before I'd be ready to cut somebody out when they did that to me. And it's just like now I'm just like, oh. Well, here goes another one, you know, and just going about my business, just really just go about my business and just say, you know what, I just pray that everything goes okay for them. It's just like I do be very mindful about what I project out to the world. And that's also another lesson because any other time I was like, I hope the hell they sit up here and get da 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 Don't do that no more. I just, hey, I hope and pray you find peace and happiness that what you aiming for, I hope you get it. You know, because that speaks a lot about your character. You know, if people end their, your relationships like that, don't wish anything bad on them. Don't do that. You know, just, you know, they all, obviously they got issues just like you have issues that you're trying to heal from and theirs as well. You know, I have some that, you know, say really hurtful things to me. You know, I, you try to be mindful of what you say out to people because you can't take those words back. That's like, even with my children, you know, I used to, blah, 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 you know, instead of hit, put my hands on, I didn't realize just from the words that I was speaking, that was like, abuse as well you know because that's all when I was growing up I got the words and the fist I you know it was both so I had to go through physical and mental and sexual all those different things so it's just like with my kids I didn't like put my hands on because I know my strength and it was just the fact is it always reminded me of the things that I endured as a child so I never it was very so often they would I would actually put my hands on him like that because my, my mouth was more sharper than my hands because it's like a butt whipping. That pain only lasts for a few minutes. But it's like that tongue lashing is going to really have you thinking. I, you know, and I had to project that. Like, you know what? You know, stand back. You know, you didn't like that when you were a child. You know, and I thought I was doing a little bit better when I didn't place my hands on my children. So all that situation has helped me learn so many different things in so many different positive ways. So it's just like when people, you know, I've had people, you know, um, show their insecurities towards me, especially when it came out of me talking about my dad with somebody, if I was venting, you know, and then, you know, people that has been in my life for like 15, 20 years since high school, you know, I see some of them trying to come back and, you know, make this little small conversation. I'm like, oh, everything's good, but you can't come back. <laughs> no, I already knew what you did the first time. I said, I remember the first time. It's like, first time, shame on you. The second time, shame on me. It ain't about to happen. So it's just, I live and learn from that. But, you know, I, I never be, you know, I never be cruel, you know, whatever. You know, they send me something. I was like, oh, thank you. But I'm not trying to have no, you know, keep no conversation going, you know, because I'm, we're done. So it's just like when you're going through things know that you know with your your situations especially when you cross paths with people and it's not as long-lived as you hope it would be you know still look at that you know look at that situation and 
and that relationship towards you and that person and see what it taught you to do. So, you know, those things all serve a purpose to it. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. Knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will give much love to, let me give a shout out because I don't have no paper in front of me. Um, Teresa Anderson, uh, Mimi B, and Ray Fisher. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. You know, drop me a line. And, yeah, I just said everything. Yeah, and have a blessed weekend. I'll talk to you on the next video. Peace. Boom.